I'm certain that you've run into times where you had to have more than one terminal open. So you would have a terminal like this one right here that I move around on my screen and you just need another terminal. So you open another one and then another one and then another one and they're all piled on top of each other. You can't remember which one does what and it gets really frustrating. This is actually a problem that's been solved for quite some time right now and probably the best system out there to solve it is Terminal Multiplexer or Tmux. Now, right here next to me is this keyboard and I have this unique ability where I can actually reach underneath this keyboard like this and actually type things. So I'll be doing that, but the things that I want to teach you, I will actually type right on the front because this is really an on-screen keyboard. For instance, let's get started by starting Tmux itself. Then I'll show you how valuable this can be. So I'm going to type Tmux. That's T M U X and enter. Tmux has now started. Now that Tmux has started, I want to actually use Tmux for what it's for and break this big screen into multiple little terminal screens. So the first step I want to teach you is how to show a side-by-side -side screen. I want to divide this big screen into two pieces. So I'm going to type control B. That's my first step. So control B. Now step two, hands off the keyboard. See, I'm not touching the keyboard now. Step three would be the percent, which of course would be a shift five in my case. And look at that. It split the screen in half. I now have two screens. And I can actually hop back and forth between those screens. If I cheat a little bit and just hop down the list here, you'll see that I can actually do a pane left or a pane right by just simply using the control B, then hands off keyboard, and then the arrows. So here, I'm on this screen right now. I'm on the left screen. So if I do a control B, hands off the keyboard, and now I do a left arrow. Do you see how the cursor moved? And the cursor is now over on the left screen. If I do a step one, control B, step two, hands off the keyboard. Step three, the right arrow, I'm back where I was. Cool. You can do more than that. What if I want to create another terminal? I can actually create panes inside of panes. This is almost always the way Tmux is used. Never satisfied with just two panes. So I'm going to do an over under. Step one is control B. Step two, hands off keyboard. Step three, I'm going to hit the quote. So that's going to be a shift single quote, which gives me the double quote. Look at that. I now have an over under terminal. Now I'm going to use that little trick and move my cursor to the left. So I'm going to do a control B as my step one. Step two, hands off the keyboard. Step three, I'm going to do a shift left. All right, <laughs> I'm going to do a control B, hands off the keyboard, no shift, just a left. And I'm on the leftmost screen right now. Now I want to split that up and down. So I'm going to do step one, control B. Step two, the hardest step there is for some reason, hands off the keyboard. Step three is um, the up, the over, under is a uh, quote, a double quote. So I'm going to do a shift single quote. And I now have four panes. I can easily move the mouse from pane to pane by control B, hands off the keyboard, and then I'm going to do an up arrow. And if I do a speed it up a little bit, control B, right arrow, control B, down arrow. Now why don't I just actually use the real keyboard? Control B, down arrow, control B, right arrow, control B, down arrow, control B, up arrow, control B, right arrow, control B, left arrow. It's really fast to navigate around the screen. But let's face it, sometimes having your screen broken up into these tiny little screens like this is difficult. If I do some sort of 
thing that I print on the screen like this. I don't like it that it's wrapping. And I said, couldn't I just make that particular screen big? Sure, I'd do it all the time. And we're gonna do this with a zoom command. So I'm gonna do a control B as my step one, hands off the keyboard, always hands off the keyboard as step two. And then I'm gonna do a Z, a Zulu. Boom, I zoomed in on just that screen. Now I can do all my work that I want to in that screen. As soon as I'm done, this is so nice. Control B, Z is actually a toggle. I don't have to learn a new command. I'm just gonna do step one, Control B. Step two, hands off the keyboard. Step three, Z. <clears throat> and if I get it to behave this time, Control B, hands off the keyboard, Z and I'm zoomed back out. So there you have it, Tmux and the most popular commands to create over, under, left, right, to zoom in and zoom out. Let me give you one more because this is a video and there's another one that I really like, a personal favorite. Sometimes the layouts aren't exactly the way I want them and I actually have some presets in here that are really nice. And it's done with the space bar. So I'm going to do this time, I'm actually on the real keyboard, I'm going to do a control B, hands off the keyboard, and a space. I'm going to do a control B, hands off the keyboard, and a space. Oh, okay, it looks like two presets. Control B, hands off the keyboard. Oh, now I have a really big screen up above and little ones below. Control B, hands off the keyboard, space bar. Okay, now I have a big one on the left and three little ones on the right. Control B, space bar. Uh, into the Foursquare approach, Control B, Spacebar, uh, back to where, back to uh, one of the demos that I was on before. Uh, one other option, little fancy, is I can actually do a Control B, but not hands off the keyboard. You keep your little finger on the Control key, and if you do that, you can actually control the width of the of the screen. Do you see that by just moving your mouse back and forth? Uh, well, there you have it. I've showed you all of the major tricks that I normally use to run Tmux. Closing things down, to close a pane, just type exit, and exit, and exit, and one more exit, and I'm completely out of Tmux and back to my native screen. As a general rule, whenever I sit down at the Linux command line, the first thing that I type in is going to be Tmux, enter. From there, I have all these options available. Please try Tmux in everything that you do at the Linux command line.